Look at that, would ya? Hopefully you can see that in the video. A whole stack of chicken. I mean, look at this stuff. This is just about perfect. Almost done. Flip it over. Look at this, man. Just gorgeous. Gains. Just gains and gains and more gains here. Grip is getting stronger by the day with all this stuff. Man, awesome. All right. Since I'm out here, you know what that means. That means it's time for cooking with napalm. So, I got some questions here. Let's dig right in. Hey Jed, I started bending nails with the starter bag from Iron Mine and got up to the blue nail and stopped for a while. Looking into buying your bending ebook, but my question for you right now is if I want to have a bending endurance and technique for the other times I do bending work, which is kind of which is kind of on hold right now, would you suggest buying 40 penny nail boxes of 50 pounds for developing the muscle and tendon strength to do heavy bends? Good question. I get that. I get that question and similar questions like it uh, rather frequently. And my answer is no. I, I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, maybe one day I would have back in the past, but I, I wouldn't recommend that now. Uh, so here's the reason: you're already bending a blue nail. That's harder than a 40 penny nail. Okay. So there's no need for you to buy a whole bunch of 40 penny nails. Here's the problem with volume bending. All right. When you bend really easy bars for volume, you can get good enough and strong enough to bend those bars with really bad technique. You don't want that. You want to always be improving your technique. So I don't suggest doing a lot of volume work, not with any of the people that I've ever worked with. Um, my suggestion is actually the opposite of what a lot of people say. And that's because, well, two reasons. First off, I used to do a lot of volume and I ended up hurt. Second off, when I dropped the volume, I was able to bend more frequently and I was able to see better improvements with less volume because I could hit these bars harder for just a handful of times versus going through countless steel and, uh, you know, just wrecking myself up uh, with bending by volume. So I would recommend in your bending workout, nothing more than than six work bends, maybe six to eight, a uh, couple warm up bends, and then get into your into your work sets. Just like you know, it's just like you're only going to get so many heavy sets in a workout. Eventually, it's you're going to hit a point of diminishing returns where if you constantly try to push and push and push heavy, 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 heavy for countless sets in a workout you're going to be losing strength because your endurance is going to be wiped. You want strength endurance, sure, but you don't just want to be bending 40, 50 nails in one session. All right, that's a stunt. That's not a, that's not a training method. So, no, I don't recommend that. I would, I would keep the volume much lower. I would focus on um, higher range percentages as far as a factor of uh, one rep max, um, meaning if you're bending blues, then see, how, see if you can bend three blues in a workout work up to five blues in a workout or something that's equivalent to the blue nail. Um, for more ideas on bending, David, definitely get the nail bending ebook. There's tons of information in there. The, the nail bending ebook has produced more red nail benders than any other product, coach, resource, anything that exists. It's the way to go if you want to be good at bending. All right, thanks a lot for sending in that question, David. I invite everybody else to do the same, just scroll right down, ask me your questions, and I will get to them as soon as I possibly can. You're going to see more of these videos coming your way more frequently, so be sure to subscribe. That's all I got for you, man. I got to get this chicken in the house so I can eat it and get going with the rest of my day. All the best in your training, everybody. Take care.